Well, hello. I'd like to welcome you to my video of a Bulgarian fountain pen that I... Well, I, I was going to upload a video where I did first impression of one of those pens that was donated to me, but uh, I got this one working over the weekend, and uh, I thought, well, what the heck? Why not just do a video on this one as a first impression? So, you find out along with me whether this pen works and whether I've successfully repaired it. I do not hold water, but just in case, I'm going to use... Parker Washable Blue Quink in case this pen decides to spring a leak. So let's take a look at it. Oh, and I should tell you what it's called. Uh, it's a Bulgarian pen. Um, the name on the listing said B-A-C-E-L-I-T-E, -E, so Basilite. I thought maybe that was Bulgarian for Bakelite, which is a plastic that used to be more common, but apparently not. It translates to English as Basilite, so I don't know what that word is. Uh, and then it says Vitosha, which I'm wondering, is that the brand? I don't know. Well, let's discover along with me. So the pen, basically, when I got it, it had two faults. It needed cleaning, a lot of cleaning, and it needed, uh, I needed to repair the piston. Screw cap pen. There is no branding here, but you can see that a lot of the gold plate has worn off. Also, you can see that the clip... Doesn't quite fit, but okay, and you can see on the finial, let's see if you can read that. So I'm hoping that will mean something to somebody. I just know nothing. But it's not one of the words that was a, that appeared in the listing, so I don't know what that is. So we'll investigate it with the loop and fill you in more later. Uh, the nib, USA nib. Gold plated, wow, classy. Um, I guess I'm not surprised anymore finding these U.S. nibs on uh, Eastern European pens. No other branding, but definitely a lot of signs of wear and tear on this pen. Blind cap for a piston. Um, the piston, you know, it's easy to take apart and clean. I mean, I, I had no trouble with this, so that's why I did it. It was kind of a relaxing fun project anyway i won't bring out the piston but when i worked with the piston i ended up putting o-rings on it It was a cork piston it just would not hold any pressure so i used some rubber o-rings and uh, i'm hoping you know it, it does suction against my finger and it will hold water so i'm hoping that this will hold uh, the ink so let's be brave and find out so like I said, I picked Parker Quink Blue, Washable Blue. Emphasis on the washable in case we get a leak in some direction or the other. Uh, one thing I kind of spoiled, I like my windows and uh, no ink window. I don't even know necessarily if the piston is up or down. Okay, got some bubbling that time. So... Alrighty, clean it off off screen here. I don't know how washable washable blue actually is. Um, oh, and I see I probably should wipe clean this table or just get a new top for it. So I'm kind of excited right now. Uh, I, I was, uh, I, I had, like I said, a Daiso, Daiso, Daiso pen I was going to upload. And then I just uh, thought to myself, no, you just restored this. Do this pen. So here it is. So I wrote, I wrote that off screen here. Uh, it's a Bulgarian pen. At least listed as such. As I said, I have done no research on this yet. Ink in it is Parker Quink Washable Blue. So far, so good. Um, getting some ink there in the in the feed. 
I, I was going to remark when I first wrote up here, I was going to say that's kind of scratchy, but now, I don't know, I think it's got a bit of a sweet spot as far as flex. No, <laughs> not at all. Possibly a slightly stubby nib. Um, I you know, definitely got some line variation. Uh, pretty thrilled with it so far for what it is. Uh, wetness and flow. Definitely a lot of feedback to this guy. Yeah, seems to keep up. Uh, the smear test. Yeah, definitely a sweet spot to this. Holy cow. If I just rotate it off the angle just slightly, it just... Ah! I actually think it's somewhat wet. It just, uh, on this paper, you can't tell. And reverse writing. Oops, you didn't see that. <laughs> Good thing I didn't do the actual test yet. Ew. Yeah, that's just nasty. Very fine, but super ultra scratchy. <laughs> so, won't bother with that ever again. I was drawing a blank there what my next test is. I, I batch film these and I kind of forgot <laughs> what I do next. Um, so, I'll do the Pierre Gustafson test. So, anyway, this is... Uh, the first time I've ever repaired a piston. Oh uh, yeah, we're not stopping, but it does kind of run out of juice there. Anyway, it, it's, uh, as long as I keep it on the page right, I'm actually kind of happy with it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is Favorably impressed, a very nice writer. Uh, definitely, it's got a sweet spot. When they talk about Lamy's having a sweet spot, oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if the mark the nib is native to the pen or if that's an uh, aftermarket add on. Um, it's got a good solid feel. I, I am impressed with how it writes uh, like i said sweet spot but you know i have a curse of italic platinum president so <laughs> um i don't know what i was trying to say there which is why i just shrugged the words weren't coming uh I, i'm filming this kind of now that i'm here i'm like oh wow all these words are not coming but uh oh boy i had something else intelligent i was going to say about it uh oh the piston so i've never repaired a piston before uh, I've always gotten them there working. I just need to clean the pen if I've had a piston pen. I have re re repaired sacks and so on, but never a piston. So anyway, what it had is a rod came down, um, and then there was an actual cork was the piston, but it, it just would not hold pressure. So I took it off. Uh, I replaced it with some O-rings. It took three O-rings, and I have four different sizes of O-rings, so I just picked the one that was the widest. And uh, smeared the heck out of it with uh, silicone grease. And as I said, it seems to be holding pressure. I don't know how well I trust it till I live with it for a while. Um, I'd like to know where these companies that restore pens get their silicone um, pistons from. Because I think that might almost be a better solution than these rubber O-rings. I don't know. But anyway, I'm uh, so far... Fingers crossed, thinking it's going to hold. And, and I am pleasantly surprised with how well it writes. That was worth waiting for. Um, we'll see. I may, uh, next time I do another vintage restoration, I may have to do the first impression on it. And, uh, and of course, I'm still working on a video that I will do over Christmas break about restoring a pen. This one would have been boring, except maybe for the piston bit. I, maybe I should have filmed that. Uh, but clean a pen and uh yeah then the piston part so anyway i hope we got something out of that i don't know it wasn't my usual first impression pen but i uh sometimes i get betrayed by these first impressions I'm learning that one the hard way keiko edge or cracked cap after i filmed my first impression and that's why it's a first impression so 
Anyway, thank you for watching. If you can figure out more about this pen than I can figure out, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I don't even know how old the pen is. I know nothing except it's marketed on eBay as a Bulgarian Basilite Vitosha Rare. <laughs> so, I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.